Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick rundown of how to program. Uh, probably the, delivered by the best person uh, possible because I don't know how to program. So I'm learning it at the same time you are. If you're watching, you might learn something too. Uh, one of the things we've already learned in the previous videos is that there is something definitely wrong with the openprocessing.org editor. So what I will do, not to be stymied by such a piddly little problem, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy the code that I want, and I'm going to open it up in a simple text editor, just like any text editor you might have uh, on your own computer. Uh, I'm going to use gedit. This is a generic GNOME, G-O-N-M-E, GNOME text editor. I don't expect it to do anything special. Uh, in fact, it doesn't even have code highlighting, uh, which you can tell by looking at it. If we look at this code, you can see that the greens and the purples and the blues all are there, and here it's not. But that's okay. Um, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. View. Uh, oh, look at that. There is a highlight mode. But it's not going to know. It's not going to know processing. Nope. Uh, so I want to actually increase this font size so that you can read it too. Font and colors. No, I'm not going to use system. I'm going to bump it up. Uh, let's go to 14. Click OK. That's a little better. All right. <clears throat> so here we are. We have our code. And now uh, the void draw, draw function loops. Add one to the counter. That's what we were talking about before. And you know what? I'm going to add this. This is a, a way of um, commenting in code. Uh, no stroke. I'm going to fill the random. OK, these are the colors inside our circle. If mouse is pressed equals true. Now this is this is an equal equal. Um, and if we go take a look at what equal equals means, I click on a reference. Again, it's all online. And if you're using processing, uh, which is totally you can do, I recommend it. In fact, uh, you can do all of this in the code in the application itself. So here are our relational operators: equality. And let's take a look at what that means. So, um, in a sense, essentially, it means determines if two variables are equivalent. So, the two variables are equivalent. That's an if statement in between. So, let's take a look. So, if the mouse is pressed and it equals true, so this is if it's true. Um, Let's go ahead and add some more code. Determin determines if two values are equivalent. Right? This is value 1. Mouse pressed is value 1. Value 2 is true. So let's take a look at mouse pressed. Yeah, we can also spell. All right, so let's take a look at mouse pressed. Reference. And you're probably thinking this is taking a long time, but you know what? Because I already know some of this stuff. It doesn't really, I don't read really to look at the references, but you probably do. Um, and if you don't, then skip to the next video. All right, so mouse pressed uh, is function called after every time a mouse button is pressed. I assume that also means left and right. The mouse button variable, see the related reference entry, can be used to determine which button had. Okay, the mouse button variable. So it will tell me if it's a yes, if it's a. Um, uh, if it's a left click or a right click, and here's the syntax. This is more. This is very important right here. You want to know how to write your code accurately, and so the void mouse pressed. Let's go to our text. All right. Um, all right. The void is already ex is already done. Um, let's indent that a little bit so we can get it out of our visual. Okay, no stroke, fill random, if mouse pressed, right there. So here is um, void mouse pressed. Since this is an if loop, 
if mouse is pressed equals true, um, then ellipse mouse x. So mouse x equals uh, the coordinates of the mouse in x position, x being left right, right? x is left right, and mouse y is up down. Else ellipse width 2, ellipse height, okay, so we're probably, you're probably wondering if we're actually going to do any coding. Let's go ahead and change some values here. Uh, mouse x is an ellipse, and uh, mouse Y is an ellipse and the size of the ellipse. These are this is the location of the ellipse. Mouse X, mouse Y is the location and the size of the ellipse is 20. So you know what? We can change this and really whack it out and say something like mouse X uh, times 0.7. That's going to be a big, actually, that's too big. Cancel that. Let's make that point. Um, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Point one. Uh, uh, copy this. Go ahead and copy all of that. Copy. And let's go to our code. And control A, delete that, and I'll paste it in. That should be our new code right there. Mouse, see how it's highlighted in here? And see that? That's really annoying. It just jumped. All right, so let's, um, let's go ahead and run it. And we can run it. Now when I mouse press, I should get something new. Ah, see that? I'm getting ellipses. And the ellipses are going to change by the location of x. And since x is way over here, now if I move it over, since x is left what right, it's going to change size. See that? So we have just created a little program. Now, obviously, one of the things uh, you want to do is start thinking about how you would change this program. And one of the things I would want to change is um, let's get my star asterisk in here. Asterisk star um, changes or potential changes export as SVG. Ah, I don't know what that is, but that's okay. Export as PNG, etc. So you want to put notes in your code so that you know, you know how you can evolve, the ideas that you want to explore in the future. And put them right in the code so that you can, when you go back, you'll see that there is something you wanted to change. We're going to stop this, and I'm going to Remove all of this code, control A, delete that, control V to paste it in, and you'll see right here is my code. Now normally I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the wonkiness of the, um, see that, the void setup, why it doubles that, that just makes it hard to use. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with more.